Hello and welcome to a Planet Destiny Weapon Class Overview. In this video I'll be discussing the current place of hand cannons, their place in the PvE and PvP metas, and the current best perks to go for if you are grinding for a particular hand cannon. In year 1, hand cannons were arguably the absolute strongest primary weapon type due to the limited range falloff on weapons, high accuracy at all ranges, tons of ammo, all wrapped up in a high burst damage package. After the Taken King launch though, their damage falloff was neutered, accuracy when rapidly firing was basically removed, and the reserve ammo was reduced. As time went on though, their power level has been brought up, culminating in the June Sandbox patch, where it feels like most of the issues have finally been resolved. So how do they perform now? Well, in PvE their damage output is strong, especially at the mid-range where they're built to shine. The range and accuracy buffs have made landing follow-up shots extremely consistent, even if the range stat on your hand cannon isn't maxed out. For testing purposes, I used the Raid Hand Cannon with the lowest range settings, and as long as I lined up my first shot, I was able to rapidly land follow-up shots in the mid-range reliably. On the opposite end of the spectrum, a max range hand cannon like the first curse is able to hit some almost scout rifle level shots. Range, at least for PvE, doesn't feel like it's as huge of an issue as it once was. The only real issue you might find with the hand cannon in PvE is ammo. The patch also brought a change where your character will auto pick up ammo quicker if you have run out. I have yet to really run into a situation where I fully run out of ammo in PvE though, so this change must have done something right if I haven't noticed my ammo getting low like I was in the previous patches. In PvP, hand cannons are in a perfectly usable state without having to get multiple range boosting perks. The raid hand cannon used to be the butt end of jokes because it couldn't hit anything and it would take ages to reload. Well, it still has reload problems, but your shots will register at least. If you're shooting at targets reserved for scout or pulse rifles, you won't have a consistent experience, but you will at least be able to count on your primary in the ranges it was designed to be good. Even though you might be able to find some success with lower range rolls, I highly suggest using at least 40 range to make the gun just all around better. The higher range stat really felt like it helped with follow up and snap shots. My Devil You Know has rifled barrel and was a dream to shoot provided I stayed within the proper range of the gun. Phantom bullets didn't really feel like they were as large of an issue as they have been before. The only time I got them were in matches where lag was making all types of shooting difficult. Firing rapidly might also cause some shots to miss depending on your range stat. I felt like I had a few phantom bullets when using the low range raid hand cannon, but swapping over to my Devil You Know I was able to hit shots closer to the actual rate of fire of the weapon. The changes have definitely made hand cannons into something that rewards accurate shooting, but they don't hold your hand near as much as year one. You have to work for it now, but it doesn't feel unfair, which is great. Now moving on to the perks and roll recommendations. It should be noted that not every hand cannon can roll with the same perks. Hake hand cannons can't get luck in the chamber, Omelon ones can't get rangefinder, so I'm going to give you a general overview of good perks and stats to go for on a weapon. As always, if you want to see the available rolls on a gun, please use the Planet Destiny database to see all of this info. So aside from very few weapons, you're going to still need some sort of perk to increase the range a bit. Rangefinder, hand loaded, rifle barrel, reinforced barrel, and even small bore are all extremely viable choices for a bump in range. I'd avoid reinforced barrel since that does hurt the stability on the gun, but if you're using a slower rate of fire archetype, then stability doesn't really matter due to time between shots. So that covers range. Other good perks to go for on a hand cannon are Outlaw, since you're going for precision shots anyway, this one is a no-brainer. If you end up getting rifle barreled, then you will want something to help negate that reload penalty. Luck in the chamber. Hand cannons hit hard and can hit even harder with this. Triple tap. This makes hand cannons even better in PvE since you will probably be landing multiple precision shots. Not so great in PvP though. Hidden hand. Hand cannons have a lot to gain from upping their aim assist. This is a really good perk to have if you want a hand cannon for PvP. Firefly. Only Omelon hand cannons, Amaga Loop, and the Raid hand cannon can roll with this. Still, Firefly is based off the impact of the weapon, so hand cannons work really well with it based on their high impact. Crowd Control. I believe only Hake hand cannons can roll with this perk, but I might be mistaken. Reactive Reload. Hopefully you can get this with Outlaw on the same gun. You'll reload a lot with hand cannons due to their low magazine size, and the damage bump from Reactive Reload makes the gun do crazy damage in PvP and PvE. Don't throw away a gun because it has good range but bad tier 1 and 2 perks. My W you know is horrible with partial refund, spray and play, and rifle barrel, so it has a slow reload speed to make spray and play harder to use, and partial refund which just isn't that good for anything. 
But still, the only perks that turn me off a weapon are things like Exhumed, Danger Close, Surrounded, Underdog, you know, the ones that are bad no matter the weapon they're on. The big strength of hand cannons are that they have massive upfront damage in the mid-range, so play to those strengths when trying to decide if you should choose a newly acquired gun. Hope you found this video helpful. This has been Patrick Casey with Planet Destiny, your guide to the Destiny universe. Mm -hmm.